if you look at his last, he's three of 18 in his last 18 field goals. Even more reason why he's going to go off today. Correct. That's not Even about. more reason. These are the games that Chris Golding is ready to be able to knock down a whole lot of trifecta. I think that uh, that is something that the Phoenix wouldn't want it. Throw down 15. That's cheap for the first points of the afternoon. This is a really good test for them. We see Chris Golding. Oh, that was the one that really could have got him going early. And it'll get Delavadova going, though. Gata. That'll be big for him. A big turnout for this one. Liafa tees it up. Got it. do that who we've spoken about it before he can't fall in love with having to score as well with so much talent around us that's just way too easy being able to drive down the middle with a little floater well they're keen to let it fly from the three-point line aren't they if uh two of excuse me one of four so half their shots and there's Deli. it creates a little anxiety when they know that the point guard who's running the team is not going to get it to you then it has a spiraling effect because others start to take shots what they wouldn't normally do, and that you wouldn't normally expect to be a great shot by Matty Delavado. Shooting clip that we spoke about has improved oh. dramatically. Gee, what a find for Brockoff. Really good back. Shea Ely, one of the leading contenders, sixth man of the year and defensive player of the year, in for his first minutes. Creek. Turns around and fires away. Xavier Munford. That's Chi down the lane. That's just poor defensive transition. To have a chat about it. See there, we had the two guys. It's Brown and Ashley. With his first minutes of the throwdown. And one for Creek. Take a look at this. Here he is. Just I guess they're calling it with the hand. They certainly haven't rectified their defensive problems in this one. It's knocked down from Illy. 36% three-point shooter this season. Melbourne United on top of the table. Munford gets that to roll home. South East Melbourne third on the ladder. 11 wins and six losses. left open makes them pay gets better and better every time we see him hammer certainly does and that's the depth of this melbourne united team as well we talk about that with southeast melbourne really good find off the penetration drive and dish a garter again well, they've obviously hit a couple of threes and he wants to get the ball three hands and also attack the rim down on the offensive end thank you maddie there's another three ball this for is melbourne fourth in the competition three-point shooting this season melbourne Working for them so far. Creek at the other end. That's big. Huge shot. Ten points in the opening term for the Phoenix number one man. Agata misses. Oh, Ariel hook point. He shuts the lid on it. <laughs> this is just great timing. How to get up there with a the left hand. It's not something that hasn't been in vogue a lot recently, but could be a different problem they can present. Well, they're really trying to explore in the early on ball in the drag screen. And I tell you what, fellas, in terms of atmosphere, this place is loud. There's boos, there's cheers, there's a bit of everything. I've seen a couple of fans have a crack at each other. That's all you want to see from a throwdown. It's not often that we've said that this year. Oh, dear. He's quickly trying to rectify that. And that was end to end. He took it off the rim. Well, Coach is a big advocate for him not running, well, for De Melbourne United, not running enough plays for him. It's two more for Tarangi. He, he demands so much attention that he can bring other people into the game because of that attention. Nice move from Chi! They know that they're a legitimate chance to win a championship this year. Again for Melbourne United and for South East Melbourne trying to get that first championship. It's just so close. Top four. Arthur. Away from Dalavadova, then flipped it over his head out for Brockoff. It drops. That was a really good pass. 
is he keeps his players accountable. He challenges them, still gives them confidence, but he's got his system. It's been proven to be successful, and everyone has to be able to buy him to do it and because then you make change, you improve, and then it's who gets the most momentum going into the playoffs, and that's what he'll be after with his squad. He's now up to 12 points, but they've found a little toy that they can play with, that little on, middle on-ball screen, and they're going to it quite regularly. Creep muscles in on hook forty. Equal leading score in the game now. Alongside Della Vidova with 12, and that's two more for Della. There it is again, Drewy. The thing that we love about it is they continue to go to the well. 13 and 5 on the season. Oh, they've counted it. He's going to get that to count. Point out. Creek. Beautiful pass. Ashley sent back. Creek plays through, though, and scores. <laughs> Della Vadova trying to get busy on Adnan. Can't bank it home. Tipped in by Luala Chul. Shot clock down to five. Creek turns and scores. That's tough. 16 points on six of 11. As we close in on half time for Mitch Creek. Lala Chul in the paint, misses from underneath, puts it back in. When executed the right way and you've got the shooters and you can spread the floor, it's tough to contain. Got a baseline, blue yeah. pass Creek. Melbourne will lead at half time. Question is, by what margin? Della Vadova's had a big first half. He's had a massive first half. He's managed to stay clean since then. Tough job today trying to stop Creek. One of the competition's best players, Mumford. Starts well. Matty Della Vadova, they went to a hard show. They hard show on those on, on ball, so we'll see if that's more effective. Oh dear. Creek up there for Chief. Work together with Chi. Here's Creek. Yes! This is a little hard for a guarder to reel in. And the Wilder Tool finishes over the top of Chi. Creek behind the back for Liafa. Got it! Creek showing us the full repertoire. And get to the paint as we see here. Good pass out. Up fake behind the back. Nice basket. And he just with the nice behind the back pass. He's in the lanes. He's seeing it all at both ends of the floor. Regarda scores. Getting other people into the game and uh, that's what makes him such a tough matchup. The Arthur stepping back. Back to back threes. And then he steps back and just throws up a wild one. Dribbled into the paint and knocks it down for the elbow. Really good poise. Felt Della Vadova on his back. Stopped and really created that to be able to hit that shot. One win apiece this season, uh, this season between these two teams. Creek pulls up in transition. Mitch Creek goes bang. Phoenix leading 71-64. We approach two minutes before three-quarter time. Adam played through the contact and scores. The Phoenix, a lot of credit. I thought their defense was, was pretty good. Jack White out there to start the last quarter with four fouls. Finishes that off with the left hand. Half of the season, I think you said, wasn't it? Yeah. Creek forces it up. He's done that a couple of times with his right hand. Only five turnovers. And on the flip side of that, Dean Vickerman from a defensive team, as they get another three, would be saying, we need to be able to force turnovers. We need to disrupt to be able to get down the other end. But it was 20 back kilos in the a day, <laughs> 20 kilos. Jeez. This Golding back That's, door. They're the options that I'm talking about with exactly. Chris Gold. To Creek. Now the Arthur. He's able to put it back in. Golding. For three. There it is. It didn't go unnoticed on us that you had a fresh cut for TV today, Drew. No, that's how I like to roll. Cheat. Lovely touch from the big man. 
just got to his spot. Once he gets to his spot, he knows his length is going to be able to allow him to shoot it. And he can do a better job of him uh -oh. allowing him to catch it. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Here he comes. This is what happens. With Tarangi just going one-on-one, -on -one, trying to drive it into the traffic. And hook Porty to the other end, scores over the top of Chi. You want to be aggressive, but you want the ball in your best hands being aggressive. Mumford blocked. Hook Porty says no, sir. Melbourne off to the races, and that's an unsportsmanlike foul. United within three. Golding gave it up for Delamadova. Oh. Tied game at 85. The last four minutes have been all United's. Hook Porty. Misses. Golding puts it back in. Melbourne in front. And Chris Golding, 10 points in this last quarter. Gets a sniff and drives it home. And Hook Porty's provided that energy on the defensive end, changing shots. And Mumford says, hang on, we're not done quite yet. And he's hurt these minutes with what he's done. He's changed shots and blocked some shots on the offensive end, the defensive end. And Illy dances through the paint, puts Melbourne back up by one. It's either flop or a charge. One or the other. One or the other. Illy. Big fourth corner from Shea Illy. Delavadova may have travelled. Got away with it. Golding. Oh, ho, ho. from corner court. Enormous. Yes, he did. 16 points for Chris Golding. I think Daly travelled. Absolutely travelled. Mumford slips over. And it's out of bounds. This is what we've got to look forward to. Down the track in the playoff. And this is anyone's. White makes the second. He's only got 27, five, five. I hear you, Hammer, but I'm not sure I'm with you that that was necessary to call that one. United beat the press. Jack White plays through and draws a foul. I tell you, do not undersell what Hook Porty has brought in on the defensive end in this last quarter. Humphrey tees it up. Full credit to Melbourne United, though, the way in which they cranked up the D and got their reward. So he's sat, and he's got the confidence in these other guys to be able to step up. The um, importance of Illy coming off the bench, both defensively, but making good decisions to be able to score as well and pick and shoot. Glidden off the inbound. It doesn't count. Melbourne United go on a 28-8 run to win the game and stay on top of the table. 14th win of the season.